Hi and welcome to this edition of Out of the Box. My name is Paul. Today we're going to be having a look at what is in this box. This is uh, pretty much brand new here in Australia. It's uh, new off the uh, Ubiquiti line. Um, this is the uh, new Ubiquiti Unify switch. It is the 32 port aggregation pro. So the USW dash pro dash aggregation. What is it? It's a 28 port 10 gigabit a second SFP plus switch with four SFP28 slots. Those support 25 gigabits a second. Not sure why they were never called SFP25s, just to make my life easier, but they're SFP28s um, and they support 25 gigabits a second. So let me show you what you get in the box. You're gonna get the unit itself. We'll talk about that a bit more in a moment. Now, you will get a power cable for your country. Um, these we import, so this happens to um, be for Europe. Um, Ubiquity, I'll show you on some of their cables that are specially made, have created a IEC connector with a uh, plate at the back that can lock this in place. Here in Australia, we haven't got any of these at the moment, so that feature is not available. We have to swap these for Australian power cords. But as these were coming to um, mass availability, I would imagine we'll see that in due course. Um, starting to see that on a few of the other devices um, that we're coming in in the USW range as well. This is a rack mount unit, um, so it comes without the ears on, but you do get the uh, two ears here um, to be able to fit to the sides of the unit. You're gonna get your obligatory uh, uh, specifications document there. Um, don't forget, this is a Unify switch, so it's gonna be adopted to your cloud key um, or your cloud controller, UDM Pro, um, for example, um, to manage it. You are going to get a little pack of all the fitments that you need. Let me just hold that up for you. Um, hopefully you can see that. Um, in there, you've got your um, rack mount ears, uh, sorry, your rack mount um, nuts, the bolts to go with it. You've got your um, screws to fit the uh, side plates that we talked about here, the ears um, to your device. Um, and you've got four uh, feet if you want to be able to mount that on a shelf or a desk. Also with this, you will get a DAC cable. So direct attached copper. This is a 10 gigabit a second DAC cable. So SFP plus, um, short transceivers on either end. Um, I think this is probably, uh, a, this is a one meter. The UDC-1 allows you to uplink this uh, to another device at 10 gigabits a second without using any other transceivers. So nice to find that in the box as well. Right, let me uh, lift this unit up so that you can have a uh, look. Not a lot to see other than our 28 SFP plus, so 10 gigabits a second ports. And these are our four SFP 28, so they support 25 gigabits a second of uplink. Um, and we've got our small LCD screen down here where we can do um, a small bit of um, monitoring for what is going on. Now, you will, as this is part of the USW series, if you've looked carefully, you will see some air intake slots um, on the uh, front here. There is no side cooling on these, um, but we do have plenty of fans here on the back. So we can do back to front or front to back cooling. All right, on this side is our mains uh, in. So let me just show you um, how this will work. Well, let me just um, take out the blanking plate there. And when we do see the final cables, like I said, the current ones that we supply, the don't have these. Once this is clipped into place, well actually, let me just bring that up. Um, to the camera, you can actually see here a uh, locking uh, button. So this actually can clip into place. Let me make sure I've got this up the right way. Uh, plug that into place. Now it's in place, the cable does not actually come out. It's completely locked um, and I have to use, hopefully you can see it, I have to use this little button here to allow me to actually release that. Um, so it'd be nice when we get some of those cables on the mass production run. But on this uh, um, early units, we're not going to um, see that at this stage. All right, so just take the cable out. I'm gonna lift that back up again. So we've got our cooling fans and we've got our RPS. What is this? This is a DC um, slot for Ubiquiti's redundant power system. Redundant power system is not a UPS. This is not an uninterruptible power supply. The idea is that your main AC in here is connected to one power supply. You would then have Ubiquiti's RPS solution in place, which would be connected to another power supply. If the first fails, it will switch it automatically over to use this and you can chain these together. So 
do hop on over to our YouTube channel. We've got plenty more box openings on wireless networking um, and firewalls. We've got plenty of how-to guides, what do you need to do to configure a unified network, um, how to set up your switches, all of those type of things. So please do subscribe. But hopefully that's been useful. This is the U Ubiquiti Unify um, switch. This is the Pro 32-port aggregation switch. 28 ports of 10 gigasecond and four ports of 25 gigasecond. Hopefully that's been useful. My name's Paul.